exactly like I remember it, only faded. Like a Polaroid left on a windowsill. From the outside, it almost looks charming. Charm's not the problem. Structural integrity may be an issue. You think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down? If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? Sure. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Allison, we could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. The only way to get this done is to do it. After you. Did you smoke something before you left Fireweed? The door's right there. Locked. Well, it's a good thing I remembered this. You sure that's the right key? Yes. Maybe someone changed the lock. Who would change the lock on us? I don't know. We're screwed. You got a plan B? Yeah. We find another way in. I never knew a locked door that could keep the crafty goblins out. Yeah. We had a million ways in and out of this old house. At least one of them's gotta work. Crafty goblins. I haven't thought about them in forever. Or should I say, us? We almost spent more time as goblins than we did as kids. Oh. Doesn't seem like the greenest source of energy. Not like she had the money for solar panels. At least we don't have any use for this right now. Luckily. Remember the snowstorm in 2004? Marianne had us digging for hours. I remember she made it a game, at least. That's right. We made tunnels to escape the ice troll. Gotta hand it to her. She can make us do anything if she turned it into a goblin tail. At least we don't seem to have any squatters. Open sesame. Let me guess. It's locked. Yup. 
know any other secret passwords? Hmm. So, any idea how we're gonna get in? Hmm. We used to play under the house when we were kids. Yeah. We What'd you find? Our hidden treasure. Seriously? How do we think to stash it there? Goblin secrets are always well kept. Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? And she always knew when we were lying. Waste not, or kiss the planet goodbye. I can't believe these are still here. Yeah, we should hide them so they don't frighten away potential buyers. Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? And she always knew when we were lying. Waste not, or kiss the planet You need a hand with that? No, it should be fine. Okay. If we just get this board out of the way, I could probably squeeze through. So we need something to pry it off. It's screwed in pretty good. We need a screwdriver. At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. How many sand castles? Hey, I think that's the same rake I cut. How many sand castles? Hey, I think that's the same rake I cut my foot on. Ah, uh, you're out of your element, little guy. How do you know? Maybe he's a snowfish. Hopefully Mother Nature holds off on the blizzards until after we sell the house. At least we don't seem to have any squatters. There? No, you're right. It's locked, all right. Okay. Should be something in here that'll work. Homemade cleaning products made- Hey, I see a screwdriver. Now all we need to do is get inside. Wait, I, um, I'm feeling something strange. room until everything looks as clean as a whistle. Ugh. This is the millionth time I've gotten in trouble because of you. You and your big mouth. Hey, you were thinking the same thing. You just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouse. Oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. You know, for fun. Goblins are supposed to help the princess, not play mean tricks. Whatever, you're not fun. I'm only trying not to make her even worse. Whoa, did that just happen? 
I don't know, but I saw it too. It felt like it did when we used to share thoughts with our voice. It did, but that was a memory of us 10 years ago, right? I, I vaguely remember it happening. I think so. And uh, that's new, right? Yeah. We could share thoughts and feelings, but we never replayed memories like that. Why would it happen? And why that memory? I don't know. It's pretty eerie. It's weird, but our voice was always a good thing. This could be too. I'm feeling something again. Near the barn. Yeah, me too. Coming. I'm coming. What? Stop sulking. I told you already. I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> okay. Guess you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room then. What? No, I want to see. I guess we know where to search now. We just have to remember which one is the silent frog. Nothing here. So. Which one of you is hiding the key, hmm? Damn, where's the key? Seriously? Kidding. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. Nice job keeping the secret, buddy. this box here. It looks brand new. It wasn't me. Has someone been out here recently? Got it. All this for a screwdriver? You got a better idea how to get in? You sure you want to go in there? This was our very first den, remember? Who knows what lives down there now? Everything okay down there? Tyler? Ah! Oh, that's not funny! <laughs> then why am I laughing? Okay, fine, but you're still an idiot. All right, I'm going in for real this time. Okay, I'll see you at the front door in a few minutes. Ouch! Are you okay? What happened? I just hit my head like an idiot. Wait. What? Where are you? Ty, I'm outside. But I can hear you in my head. Our voice. It's back. Holy shit. I, uh, don't suppose you remember how to get dragons. Straight ahead. Need to go left, I think. again after the goblins. Nope. It was on the right. My bad. Past the treasure. Straight, Straight ahead. ahead. You know, I almost convinced myself our voice was just a mad hunter. Wow. 
Why am I still afraid to say his name? He was Mary Ann's creation. She made all the creepy characters. You were right, sis. Of course. A goblin never f- Marianne grilled us about all these missing dishes. Pink. It always had- I found her old kite. To pink. It always had to be pink. Marianne grilled us about all these missing dishes. But a goblin never gives up their treasure. Pink. It always had to be pink. You were right. Nothing here. Of course I was. Coming. Are you okay? I'll live. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah, same here. So, coming in or what? Just working up to it. Well, we're here. Here we are. So, how do we get started? We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house might be trying to show us. Doesn't seem real.
Of course. No lights, no power. All right, let's see. Broken shelf, broken jar, and the washing machine. Broken. <laughs> the dryer never worked to begin with. Marianne thought dryers were straight up evil. Energy hogs. I hated hanging drippy laundry. I refused to change for a few weeks once, so I wouldn't have to do it. I tried to bury this dress in the backyard, but Marianne caught me. It was a pretty dress. Yeah, well, we both know pretty was never my thing. What are we going to do with all her jewelry? Well, I'm certainly not going to wear it. Donation pile it is, then. Handmade soap. Still here after 10 years. Impressive. You could say that about the entire house. We were so competitive about who measured taller. Like, we actually had anything to do with it. And after all that, it ended in a tie. Yeah, none of that crazy stretching I did made any difference. String, glue, duct tape. The holy trinity of house repair. Marianne loved having something to fix. Yeah, well, she could have tried a little harder to fix her own head. Can you picture Marianne talking to a shrink? No. And speaking of... Therapy's expensive, and I'm fine. Guess we never had time to complete the collection. These came out of one of the prize machines at the Vecchi store, right? Yeah, you'd slide the quarters inside on the little tray, and then magic, out pops a sticker. few months are almost all blank. Only a few appointments. Most of them canceled. What kind of appointments? Hairdressing, I think. Oh yeah, she did that for a while. What are you reading? Old textbooks. Tessa gave them to us, right? Yeah, she thought we were gifted. And what about you? You think you're gifted? I wouldn't be here if I was. What? Like, in this house with me? I mean anywhere near here. I'd be working in Juno or Seattle or something. She pinched every penny. Uh, I don't remember these. It's probably one of Marianne's unfinished masterpieces. There's two of them. Maybe they were us. In some weird way that only made sense to Mary. She took so many- Wow! She was always entering photography contests.
she was trying to save the planet way before Al Gore made it cool. Has Al Gore ever made anything cool? I didn't realize how much I missed the smell of firewood. I miss the cold winter nights curled up here. My big mugs of hot cocoa. Yeah. Marianne was so tired she was usually asleep on the couch. Ah, that's why it was so nice. No Marianne. We'd use our voice so we didn't wake her up. And then we'd be up all night telling stories and watching the fire die. And Marianne was none the wiser. How big of a fire would it take to heat this place up? How big of a fire would it take to heat this place up? Best mom. <laughs> you think we ever really believed that? Or were we just trying to make her happy? Either way, it wasn't true. If you don't come up soon, I'm gonna take whatever I want from our bedroom. No way, wait for me. Now this, this feels like home. Hey buddy, it's been a long time. Oh, this one wasn't mine. Tyler, do you copy? If we don't move fast, this whole thing is going to melt. Look, it's the game we made, Lusion Tramway. That game never made any sense. Didn't stop us from playing all day. Dude, we were kids. All we needed were rocks and bird feathers. Hey, the postcard we sent ourselves from Juno. Forever alone. What? We barely had any friends. We even had to be our own pen pal. Some of our old toys give me the creeps. Look what I found! What? Only our greatest creation, the Book of Goblins. <gasps> Seriously? It was in that chest- All these stories. I had ideas for so many more. Marianne wrote a lot of them. Yeah. It's one of the only times I remember her being at peace. Ah, uh, where is it? You looking for something in particular? My diary. You never told me about it. Yeah, with the way Marianne was, I tried extra hard to keep it a secret. Marianne. Yeah, that day she found out about it. Mom? Mom! Mom, where is it? What did you do with it? What now? I can't find my diary. I know you stole it. Give it back. Sweetie, 
Whatever I do, it's just for your benefit. You read it, didn't you? You had no right to do that! I have the right to do whatever I need to protect my little girl. I'm not your girl! I hate you! You will always be my little girl. And no matter how hard you fight me, I'll fight twice as hard to keep you safe. <laughs> I don't know how I never saw it coming. She told me right to my face. She was willing to hurt me, to keep me from transitioning. Tyler, there is no way you could have known she'd go that far. I want my diary back. Her room was the only place I didn't look. Okay, but do you need to get it, like, now? That diary was important to me, Allison. Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. Well, then let's go find it. You think her room is still locked? It always was. I'm not looking forward to going in there. I know, but we'll have to eventually. You know, if there's one thing you gotta give Marianne, it's that she let us explore our artistic side. You should have seen Eddie's face when I tried to repaint his car. Yeah, I bet Uncle Eddie didn't appreciate your artistic touch. I'd rather you called him Chief Brown if you're gonna be an ass about it. Where'd you come from? Hold up. What? Remember this? Uh, unfortunately. You must solve my riddle to earn the right to enter the princess's sanctum. Nothing a good hard shove won't take care of. I mean, yes, we could brute force it, but it might be kind of fun to finally solve it, right? We have different definitions of the word fun. Okay, well, if we break it, we're just gonna have to fix it for the sale. So let's at least try not to. You have the Book of Goblins? Yep. Hand it over. What are you looking for? The image on the door. It's making me think of a story from the book. One that Marianne wrote. You have a way better memory than me. Well, the Book of Goblins was my creation. And you'll never let anyone forget it. Here it is. The one about the princess's party. Give it a read. I think the symbols may represent something in the story. First ghost memories, now storybook puzzles. What a weird day. What a weird childhood. Touché.
And boom, we're in. this to feel more, you know, like a win. Speak for yourself. I'm the one who solved the riddle. Why do I feel like you're not gonna let me forget that? Where do you think we should start looking? I don't know. Where in this mess would she stash someone else's personal thoughts? I tried to read this one. I can never figure out the order of the chapters, though. Didn't the author go insane or something? No wonder Miriam liked it. Hmm. So she was standing here, spying through the window. Ugh. Sewing lessons were the absolute worst. She made all our clothes. I'm sure she needed the help. And I, for one, am happy I can fix a torn seam. It's here. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Do you think she read it? Of course. She was nosy as hell. Tyler. What? Look. What? Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. But it doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? She was mad I, I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad and she attacked you. We both saw it. Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Tyler, come here. She can't do this to me. Not now. When I've finally made sense of a few things. Well, that was your first mistake. Thinking the world made any kind of sense. Ten years in the grave, and she's still finding new ways to piss us off. Yeah. I think I need some air. 